So for today, we're going to be looking at all of these seasonal weapons that have been introduced from Season of the Hunt all the way to Season of the Lost. This is going to be a showcase of all the best weapons I think you should pick up or weapons that have uh, some use. So, for example, the bow and arrow that we're going to be talking about for Season of the Chosen. The only reason I'm saying you should pick that one up is because I think that's the only void bow we'll be having for a while. But you'll see weapons that I think are really, really good and some weapons that are just like like for example the bow so if you guys like the video like comment and subscribe it really does help the channel grow i'm going to be trying out different editing uh styles for the upcoming videos just to see where i land and what i like so first and foremost we're going to be talking about season of the hunt go on introduce yourself so to start off, we're going to be talking about Friction Fire for the first weapon. Uh, it's a precision frame, unfortunately. I actually like lightweight frames a lot more just because their magazine's usually a little bit higher and you get the bonus of speed. But as for the perks, we're going to be, I'm going to be doing the little reviews really fast just because I don't want to be stuck on one weapon for too long, considering we have a whole season's worth of weapons to talk about. But for the first what row, it's going to be Killing Wind, Subsistence, Threat Detector, Auto Loading Holster, Field Prep, Zen Moment. For the last row, it's going to be Vorpal Weapon, Rampage, Unrelenting, Wellspring, Sympathetic Arsenal, and Slideaways. So with the changes to Subsistence, I actually think Subsistence and Rampage would be the better choice in this row. I did get one with Killing Wind and Rampage, but now that the changes to Subsistence, subsistence are really good. Uh, subsistence and Rampage are the king. I think those two are going to be really good. I would stay away from Vorpal Weapon just because the ammo capacity for this is at base 26. But other than that, yeah, Subsistence and Rampage for PvE. I don't think that uh, this weapon is really viable for PvP, but I could be wrong. Next weapon is going to be Deafening Whisper. It, this is the only waveframe I think we have currently, if I remember correctly. If, if, I, if I get it wrong, uh, please correct me in the comments below. But this one's also really cool just because of the weapon type. But as for the perks, we have Ambitious Assassin, Lead from Gold, Surplus, Killing Wind, Underdog, Moving Target for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Threat Detector, Wellspring, Auto Loading Holster, Rampage, Unrelenting, and Snapshot Sights. So this one, again, like I said, this one's more for the fact that this might be the last waveframe we see for a while. Unless the grenade launcher in Witch Queen is a waveframe, then at that point that's cool. But again, this is the only waveframe in the game that you can actually get. There is one from Season of Dawn, but you can't get that one anymore. So yeah, I highly suggest people scoop this one up just, just for the novelty, honestly. Uh, the next one is going to be Season of the Chosen. I wouldn't have summoned you if I was not sincere. For Season of the Chosen, we will start off with extra, extra, Extraordinary Rendition. This one is an SMG as well, an aggressive frame, so higher damage. Unfortunately, again, the clip is not going to be that good. So if you are looking for higher clips, you're going to usually look at the lightweight frames for that. For the first row, it's going to be Subsistence, Overflow, Surplus, Outlaw, Firmly Planted, and Zen Moment for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Multi-Kill Clip, Thresh, Rampage, Frenzy, one for all and tap the trigger. So again, just like Friction Fire, I think Subsistence and Rampage would be the play. There's also a really good uh, Overflow and Rampage that you could go for. I actually currently have that role and I really, really love it. But Subsistence I think would be the better play just because you don't have to scrounge for ammo as in like see a purple or a green break and then go through it. With Subsistence, you just shoot and just forget about it. So. This one's one of my favorite weapons from Season of the Chosen. Uh, considering we have four weapons for Season of the Chosen, this is going to be like one of because there's a lot of good ones. Next weapon is going to be Imperial Needle. This is a legendary uh, combat bow in the energy slot. It's a lightweight frame, which is really good because it makes you go fast. But the, the only reason I put this one in the list is because it is a void bow. We don't have a lot of void bows outside of exotics because Le Monarch is void, but if you're looking for a void bow, this is probably the only one if I remember correctly. For the first row we're going to be looking at is Impulse Amplifier, Archer's Tempo, Quick Draw, Killing Wind, Sneak Bow, and Hit Fire Grip for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Swashbuckler, Frenzy, Thresh, Sympathetic Arsenal, Wellspring, and Opening Shot. So for this one, you can do a lot of things. You could obviously go for impulse amplifier since it, it increases the projectile velocity and reload speed, which is really good. And swashbuckler, that's probably something I would do. But for higher end activities, 
Frenzy would probably be the best play just because Swashbuckler, you're not going to be punching a lot of stuff at higher end activities. And let's be real, uh, you're not going to be killing a lot either most of the time. So Swashbuckler is going to be kind of wasted. Uh, Frenzy is always going to be up. So it's just going to be a permanent boost when you're in combat. Uh, I think that's honestly it. Some people have said Sympathetic Arsenal is pretty good, but I, I'm not really too much of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, we're going to do these really fast because I have a lot of videos or I have a lot of weapons in this video. So next one's going to be Threaded Needle. I have I don't think I have to introduce this weapon. This weapon's really good. Uh, it's a precision frame uh, linear fusion rifle. And it's probably one of the better fusion rifles right now. For the first door, we're going to be looking at Clown Cartridge, Rapid Hit, Auto Loading Holster, Field Prep, Killing Wind, and Range Finder for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Demolitionist, Dragonfly, Vorpal Weapon, Frenzy, Thresh, and Multi Kill Clip. So, remember Vorpal Weapon to get a nerf on Heavy, so now it's only a 10% boost. I still think that's worth it, in my opinion. Uh, I currently have Rapid Hit and Vorpal Weapon on mine, and I absolutely love it, but. You can also min max the hell out of it so you can go, do like accelerated coils to go even faster or you can go with liquid coils which will slow the charge time but increase uh the impact damage there's a lot of things you can do this with this one uh, i don't think there's just one and done that's like oh this is the ex these this is the god roll and that's it there's different uh things for different people i know a lot of people would love to get like auto loading holster uh rapid hit or clown cartridge i personally would stay away from cl clown cartridge but there's other people that said field prep is the best one it's honestly just pick your poison at that point this one's really good and i highly suggest you scoop this up because again once witch queen comes this is lost we're never getting well i shouldn't say we never we we never know when it's coming back Last but not least, we have Co Code Dulo. This is a high impact frame rocket launcher. It's definitely one of my favorite rocket launchers, mostly because of one perk. So first row, we're gonna be looking at impulse amplifier, field prep, auto loading holster, quick draw, and surplus for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be chain reaction, cluster bomb, last impression, frenzy, unrelenting, and ambitious assassin. So the first one, the, the perk I'm talking about is lasting impression. I think it's really good. It really helps you be really, really aggressive and use this at close range, which usually you would never do with a rocket launcher. Uh, I also have it paired with auto loading holster with which is just a lot of fun because I can just put this on and switch out a weapon, uh, shoot it. And when I hear it proc, I, pro I get it out and shoot it again. This one is probably one of the better rocket launchers we've had in a while. And I suggest you scoop it up as well. Next one is going to be Season of the Splicer. They are dead. What do we gain from more death? For Season of the Splicer, we have Chroma Rush to start it off. This is a kinetic auto rifle it is one of the best auto rifles in the game you definitely need to scoop this up as for the rolls it's honestly one of the best rifles so for the first row we're going to be looking at it's heating up feeding frenzy subsistence moving target tunnel vision and sway a dynamic sway reduction for the first row for the second row it's going to be kill clip rampage adrenaline junkie thresh wellspring and tap the trigger for the last row so I would tell you heating up with Rampage is going to pair well together. Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip is going to pair well together considering uh, they pair really well. Like for example, heating up and Rampage, those two work really well because you don't have to reload or anything. These two will proc after kills. Tunnel Vision and Kill Clip will proc off of each other because they have to, you have to reload in order to proc both, which is great. If you want to know my honest opinion though, uh, Subsistence and Rampage is the way to go because again, this is Chroma Rush. This is an auto rifle, so you already start with 51 in the magazine. And if you get something like Extended Magazine, Appended Mag, a tactical mag us on top of putting a mod for more more ammo then you're looking at like easily 70 to 80 bullets in the magazine and with subsistence you're almost probably never gonna run out of ammo so chroma rush is easily maybe one of the best weapons from all of the seasons and i want to say it's the best overall but i just don't know let me know what your thoughts are but next weapon is going to be Ignition Code. This is a legendary kinetic grenade launcher. The only reason it's in the list is because A, it's actually really good. And B, it's one of the only kinetic grenade launchers aside from the 30th anniversary one. But 
for the roles we're looking at slide shot ambitious assassin shield prep surplus quick draw and let from gold for the first row for the second round it's gonna be vorpal weapon demolitionist frenzy one for all thresh and danger zone so for this one you have a lot of options to choose from if you're looking for a pve role you could ob obviously go with spike grenades and ambitious assassin and vorpal weapon that's pretty good you can do slide shot and vorpal as well just because you shoot while you're sliding and you'll all you'll proc the reload and shoot again you can do field prep you can do surplus uh, you can do lead from gold which is something i would probably do and for the last row obviously uh, vorpal weapon would probably be the best play to do uh, frenzy i've heard other people do this one as well uh, demolition is also a really good pairing but for me i probably would stick to uh, spike grenades, ambitious assassin, and vorpal weapon, just for me. But if I'm usually doing a build with lead from gold, lead from gold and, and vorpal weapon would be the play. The last weapon we're going to be looking at for season of the splicer is grid skipper. This is a pulse rifle in the energy slot. It's a void weapon as well. And for the first row, we're going to be looking at tunnel vision, killing wind, heating up, slideways, moving target, firmly planted for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be frenzy, adrenaline junkie, thresh high impact reserves, multi-kill clip, and snapshot sites. So for this one, there's a lot of things you can do for PvP. For PvE, I probably wouldn't recommend this one, but you can do it if you want. For PvP, you'd probably be go golden with like Killing Wind, Tunnel Vision, and Heating Up. If you're having a hard time controlling this one, you could do Moving Target as well. Uh, for the last row, you, you're obviously looking at like high impact reserves, multi kill clip, adrenaline junkie did get a buff, so this one's also pretty good. Frenzy, uh, snapshot sites. I have this one on one of my rolls, and I absolutely love it. But yeah, this one's very versatile. It's PVE and PVP friendly, in my opinion. But uh, if you were to ask me, I would probably say Killing Wind and either multi kill clip or high impact reserves would be the thing that I would go for. The next one is going to be Season of the Lost, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I do so enjoy our talks. To start off Season of the Lost, we have El Pecula. This is a 180 hand cannon, so if you don't, don't like 180s, that's unfortunate. But this one actually is pretty good for the amount of builds you can do with this. So for the first row we're looking at is Ensemble, Killing Wind, Outlaw, Shoot to Loot, Encore, and Tunnel Vision for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Headstone, Harmony, Explosive Payload, Daggio, Multi-Kill Clip, and Opening Shot. So for the first door, you're going to be looking at Killing Wind, Outlaw, Shoot to Loot if you're looking for a specific uh, build, and Tunnel Vision. Personally, that's what I would go for. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at Encore or Ensemble. Uh, for the last row, Headstone, Explosive Payload, Multi-Kill Clip, and Opening Shot. Uh, headstone only, only for like elimination modes because obviously once you get that headshot, the crystal will come out they can actually they will not be able to spawn that friend or uh resin um explosive payload on a, on a 180 sounds really gross just because of the amount of flinch you could produce uh, multi-kill clip you can never go wrong with that it's a really good one and opening shots also pretty good but uh obviously harmony is really good as well for certain builds but yeah this one's really good i'm currently trying to go for an explosive payload one anything really i'm probably i'll stay away from outlaw and explosive payload but if i can find a shoot to loot explosive payload i'd be pretty happy for pve perfect purposes but for pvp uh outlaw and multi-kill clips pretty good killing wind and out and multi-kill clips pretty good that's what i would go for at least Last but not least, for all of the list, Fractithis, uh, the legendary kinetic shotgun. This is one of my favorite shotguns. It's a precision frame. Uh, and for the first, we're going to be looking at slide shot, dual loader, fully auto trigger system, lead from gold, quick draw, and ensemble. For the second row, you're going to be looking at adrenaline junkie, thresh, tr trench barrel, harmony, opening shot, and adagio. So the god roll, in my opinion, would most likely be full choke assault mag slide shot and opening shot which is funnily enough i think i have that god roll and this is probably one of the most fun shotguns i've had in a while you will see a lot of annoyances though because the shotgun will not kill in certain ranges compared to other ones but at the same time i still enjoy it that much that it's like i don't really care most of the time i'll be right next to them so it doesn't really matter all too much 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the best weapons of this season. I will most likely do a worse weapons of the season just to showcase which ones I think were doo doo better. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I enjoyed making this video. Let me know what you guys think of it. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, let me know what your favorite weapons were from the seasons. I would love to know. I might do a bonus video where I show the the uh, 30th anniversary weapons just because I think those were really cool and then maybe some of the event weapons as well that from like halloween and christmas if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below but other than that we will have more videos of destiny 2 i have some final fantasy 14 videos in the works and sekiro as well and then pokemon i think i'll start streaming it this tuesday or we'll see so be safe and i'll see you guys later